Okay, guys, we're back. Beamer and Stone and Beamer and Stone Garage. Uh, today we're going to have a little educational video on uh, how to use a tow truck. Come on in here, son. This is our 1985 GMC uh, tow truck. It's a one-ton. Come on and take a look at the engine. It's just a typical 350. Um, it's got the uh, Hydra Boost brakes on it. It is a one-ton. It does have the dually uh, wheels in the back. And we're sporting the, uh, the Optimum battery over here with it. With the chrome air cleaner. Come over here and show down the side here. It's got some nice tires on the front. Brand new tires on the back. This is our long distance hauler. Uh, we call it the white truck around here. This truck uh, brought probably 90% of the vehicles to us. This one truck. It's our lucky truck. We call it the white truck. It's got a great big push bumper on it to uh, push anything out of your way. She's weighing close to probably 10,000 pounds. Something like that. Uh, got cab lights on the back here. Uh, I think it used to have a nine foot uh, catering truck bed. I'm not sure what was on it. But when I got it, it had a record bed sitting on it, which is this bed, which is a homes bed and boom. And it was just uh, basically sitting on it with a pair of come alongs holding it on there. So the white truck here is really a detrimental vehicle to us. Uh, it does a good job for us. And we're going to use it for towing today. So today, we tow. And this is how the old homes works like this. This is how you crank it up and you bring the sling back down. This is how she works. You got to move quick. The boom's up pretty high. Which, when you got to boom up that high, when you pick a heavy car up, it shifts the weight to the front. So if you drop the boom down, and then you hook up to a car, then you drop the boom down that far. Now it's going to put all the weight on the back of the truck, which isn't a good. Because if you've got all the weight that's going to go in the back, it shifts the weight from the front to the back. And the truck's going to ride like that. You won't be able to steer. So I'd like to have it. Uh, I'd like to have it all the way so I'll probably go and crank it up a little bit. Go the proper way to go on. Usually right about there is good. You got a lever right here. Come over here and look at this lever. You got a lever here on the Homes 440. That goes both ways. This way it cranks. You can hear it. Okay, then you go this way with it back to you and unlock it and then she'll roll down. So you can drop the boom down. You get the general idea, don't you, son? Oh, yeah. This is a primitive truck. Uh, they've used this kind of style truck since the, probably the 40s and even sooner before that. And it's called a sling truck. And the reason it gets its name is because of this right here. This is a sling. So that's why they call it the sling truck. Or a sling truck. Around here, we just call it the white truck. <clears throat> and it uses uh, J-hooks. We're going to go ahead and pull up around there. We've got a couple cars set up. Let's scan the camera over there. We've got a couple cars set up. We're going to tow a an old, older car with steel buffers, a uh, first car with Skylark, and then the second car is well, a lot of people have these uh, cars nowadays with the plastic bumpers. And that's what we got right here. We got a 99 2000 model uh, Toyota, and it's got plastic bumpers, and a sling truck's a no no on a truck, on a car like this. You use that kind of truck. If you don't know what you're doing with it, You'll tear the front end up and just destroy the car. Well, I had a friend of mine, uh, a.k.a. Rondo. He's been on another episode with us. And Rondo's an old tow guy. And uh, he taught me how you can take a 4x4 board and uh, put basically underneath the chains and then tow one of these without destroying it. And this kind of car, of course, it's just a conventional steel bumper car. The chains can go underneath there, grab it, raise it up. I don't think we even need... Uh, 
board on the front. We might still use the board on the front. I don't know if it's got a flat pan. No, it doesn't. So it's not going to hurt nothing. Come on out of the front here. We're going to hook it up and we're going to probably, the chains will go underneath here and probably come up right about here and over here. So just stay right there. You can put your tape you come around till I come around. Okay, Dad. Check out the uh, steering wheel on this on this car. Check out that chain link steering wheel. It's pretty neat. Okay, Dad. And I'll fire the old truck up. We'll come around and grab that. First thing we need to do, we need to raise the, uh, or actually we need to uh, drop the boom down a little bit. And over here in the back of the boom over here, it's a winch uh, operated uh, electric, actually battery power. Come over here, John. John, check out what we got powering the uh, boom. We got another ultimate battery here, and this is the yellow top. This one here is uh, a little bit more uh, a deep cycle uh, starting power battery that we really like in the tow truck. So let's see if we can get it to operate. Back in. So you're going to drop the sling down. Then you have two J hooks. There's one. Take up under the car. Grab the other one. And unfortunately, you have to get down. So I got knee pads today. And I got some old knees. And I've towed so many cars that it really hurts to uh, put your knee down in the dirt and the rocks. And then sometimes you got to actually lay down in it to uh, see what you're doing. And so, yeah, I'm going to actually get down in here and make sure I don't hook something like the tie rod or something and do damage to the car. Okay, you hook it on the lower control arm. Come over here, we're going to hook this one up. You can come over and check this out over here, son. You take the J hook and you take the hook part and you put it down under the car and you hook the back of the A arm, which is the lower control arm. They also call it the A arm. And it's hooked. Then you come back up off the ground. Just dust yourself off. And I usually bring my chain out and make an L. I can't make an L with it. This was pretty much already in the L. And then the 4x4 four four trick. Somebody can scan me with a camera. You got the 4x4. Four four. I don't want to scratch the bumper on that car. I really love that old car. And this is the Rondo trick. Grab the 4x4. Four four. You lay it down here. Right there. <clears throat> and then just back up, up and up. <clears throat> Don't get in between, huh? I want that.
Not yet. Uh, you're getting there, Dan. A little bit more. A little bit more, Dan. A little bit more. I don't want it actually touching. Okay. That's right, Bill. Hmm. If you just simply take the chain. You go over top. You go under. You do that on both sides. Push the sling in. Try too much slack. There we go. Now here's where you gotta drop some draw some slack because if you raise this up, you're gonna put all that weight on that rubber. So we're gonna drop it down. And you can see the slack we just made by dropping this down. And we'll bring each chain up on each side. And there's two more hooks on each side, one on each side. This is the proper way. I've seen other people uh, use a sling truck. And they, uh, unfortunately, aren't, aren't educated. So hopefully, there'll be some of those people that I've seen will watch my video and know the proper way to uh, hook up a sling truck. Okay, let's see if it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the car out of gear. So it'll roll back as you raise it up. Hopefully, it won't do any damage to the car. Okay, here's the keys for this car. It's on the same ring for the tow truck. They kind of go hand in hand. I'm just going to put the key in it, turn it on, take it out of gear, put it in neutral, and I'm going to raise it up. Hopefully, I got everything set right. It doesn't do any damage to the car. This truck kind of leaves its mark on everything, but it's not going to hurt that much. Now normally, we put an extra chain on it right here for safety. So I would put a chain from this loop right here down to the sling itself, which there's a big hole. Uh, you know, they just wrap around the center of the sling. And, and it's a safety. That way, if something would happen to winch or something, it just doesn't fall and hit the ground. But we're not going to put that off because all we're going to do is just tow around a lot just to show you, you know, how it operates. Okay, so we're going to get in and drive it around. Son, you can just stand there and catch me back over. Once I come around, you catch me as I come back through there. Okay, then. We're going to drop over there. Then we're going to hook that one up.
I'm a coming, Dad. We're going to drop her down, put her on speed. We left it in neutral, but now we'll put it up in park so it don't roll over us and crush it. Now you just unhook all the chains that you just put on. Gotta let down some more. I've used this a lot. It really comes in handy. Especially when you've got a bumper, plastic bumper car like that one we're getting ready to do right now. <clears throat> Same thing over here. You disconnect it from the plane. Wrap it and knot around that hook there at the end. And that's it. One car tow. We'll go over here and show you how to look plastic bumper now. That's a steel bumper car, the old swing style. And now we're going to show you how you do a plastic bumper. So let me come around the truck. Okay, Dad. Stand there in the grass there, don't get in the way, son. Captain Hook. That's what I want to call myself, Captain Hook. Same thing here. You get basically you put the gate hook on the air arm. You want to try to catch this thing? I don't know if you can catch that with that or not. Here's the lower control arm right there. Put it down. But with this kind of car. You gotta be careful because it's front wheel drive and you can tear that boot. We don't want to do that. So I've been on many tow companies I worked for. We're gonna to turn, to, to turn the J hook around and try to catch it the other way so we don't take a chance of tearing our CV boot. It's got that drive axle. Same thing here, you wanna make an L. L with the chain. And there's your L. Ain't much for help. And then you want to do the same thing with this one here. You want to hook it up, but you want to put the actual skate hook upside down because it's a work wheel drive car. So you want to go <coughs> in with it and then down. That way it's not going to bend in anything on the car. There's nothing there. To look, the top rod's up above somewhere. It's not going to bend the top rod. <laughs> And same thing, you want to make your L. And there's your L. <clears throat> and then back up in the truck and hook it up. So I'm going to back up, don't get in the way there. Oh, I won't, Dan. The board, of course, you want to use the board on here on this car. Uh, we didn't really have to use the board on the other one, but I did anyways. So we're going to use the board on here to show you this is how it's really supposed to work. On a car like this. So 
hopefully it'll work the way it did that day I, I towed this car. Come back up to it. It's been a long time since I had to hook the back car, but that's how we got that car. We got it with the light. Good. Sorry for him. Yeah, good. Here we cut it way back on this one. Probably too far back, but this is even work. Same method as usual, huh, Dad? Same I'm doing over. Top. Over top of the chain. You want to bring the chain over top of the actual hook on the swing. Thank you for that. Over top there. Then you take the chain and you bring it underneath of it and up over. And it cinches it in right here. It cinches it in right there. The cinch then you want to drop it down because you don't want to raise it up, put all the weight on the actual swing rubber. So there's no room to rub. We're going to go with the slack. I usually wrap this a couple times around there, but we're just going for a short toe around the bottom here. And we're not going to go through all that or wrap it around. This is our towing video with the sling truck. So we got another couple trucks. We got a hydraulic wrecker, recovery truck. We got a rollback. And then we got uh, two other trucks on top of it. We got five tow trucks. So let's see how much more. And it's not going to work. Not going to work very good. Maybe we need to maneuver the board a little bit. Maneuver yeah, the board, and I think we need to come back a little bit. So let's come back a little bit and maneuver the board. It's going to catch you a little bit, but it's not going to be too bad. Not really, Dad. Yeah, the sling kind of being on the ground kind of stopped you there. Let's see where we're at. Let's see what happens. Put this board there. Oh, okay. We need to come way up on the board. That's what it is. There we go. Okay. Now we're okay. Just a board adjustment. Okay, we should be okay. Let's see what happens. We raise it up now. It's going to do a little bit of damage, but I'm not going to kill it. Yeah. It did. it did bend it all up and destroy the front bumper. Uh, we can leave it, you know, basically we can leave it parked because the front end's boxed up and put it on. Okay, we're going to take it for a ride around the box. I need to be up there behind the skylight. Okay, Dad.
camera. You can see the weight is actually hitting on the little hooks on the car. A little bit of damage right here, but it already had some damage there from the last time I towed it. But not bad. Like I said, this truck pretty much anywhere it goes, she kind of leaves her mark. She leaves a mark on anything that you hook up with it. And we don't mind it. It's a little light truck and it's just the way she is. We love the old truck. We've had a lot of good times with this truck. And they take the gate hook off in reverse manner. It's a little difficult getting the gate hook off. Same thing here, you take it off here, undo the hoop there. <clears throat> and then you have to crawl underneath of it again. Sometimes I can do that. Pick your hooks up, James, and chuck them up on the back of the truck. You raise your swing up. And there you go. <clears throat> Another job well done here at Beamer and Son Garage. I hope you guys learned something. You can have an old truck like this and still tow a late model vehicle with a plastic bumper without doing a whole bunch of damage to it you're gonna little leave a little mark here and there it's uh, the nature of the beast but it can be done you know with a simple 4x4 board uh, and of course uh, my friend Rondo which is aka Rondo his real name is Ronnie Caldwell uh, but uh, the dough man uh, he did a lot of towing and he learned a lot taught me what he knew and we appreciate everything we learned from him and everything he taught us. There was some other great tow guys out there, but that's for another episode. Uh, well, until then, Beamer and Sun Garage. See you next time. Bye for now.